Hello everyone, welcome to Han's Garage. Today I have a problem with my power seat. So everything works. Everything works except for moving back and forth. Going up and down works. And the seat adjuster works too. Everything works except for this. And the problem was that the older motor underneath the seat, the head cover just kind of popped off. And because of that, there is an input shaft. So this is a used motor that I got for 30 bucks on eBay. And there's an input shaft that goes right in the middle. This shaft was destroyed because the head just popped open and the motor wasn't mounted properly and it was kind of hanging loose a little bit and this kind of sort of came out and it got destroyed. So right now, I have to install this new motor, well used motor, and the input shaft underneath the seat. And so the problem was that the seat was way back and I couldn't adjust the seat. So I had to kind of put in the motor and just hold it with my hand and then adjust the seat so that I could move the seat so in order for me to access the nuts to remove the seat I'll actually show you right now let me go underneath my seat give you guys some light so the motor actually sits right here just like that and the input shaft goes in the middle. That's where the shaft goes into. Just like that. And then I can hook up my motor. Put the motor on there. And I'll be able to move my seat. Like this. So I moved the seat up so I could take off the screws. And these are the screws right here. That's a 16 millimeter bolt right there. And here. And there's two in the front, so if you take those off, you can take off the whole entire seat. And to take this off, I'm using a impact gun, 16mm. There's one. And the second one. Let me give you a light on that, actually. And then I'm going to move the seat all the way back so I can access the front bolts. I'm going to move the seat all the way back, putting my input shaft in the middle and my motor. Pulling it all the way back. Okay, 
and two 16 bolts in the front. There's a cover here. And your seat should be free. After the bolts are free, just take out the whole seat by lifting it up. Oh, remove all the cables first. <laughs> okay, let's do that. I don't know if this is that much. Okay, now I can take it out. All right, I didn't have to take it out, but I wanted to show you guys what everything was. So I think there's four motors total. This one is to move the seat up and down. And this one, as we saw before, is to move seat forward and backwards. This one is the front part to move it up and down. And this one is the seat adjuster for your back. So right now, I am more focused on moving the seat forwards and backwards. So this motor we are focusing on right here. So if you are having a problem with moving the seat back and forth, this is the motor and you don't have to take the whole seat out but if you are having a problem with this this motor right here moving seat moving the seat upwards and downwards you I think you might have to take it take it out and the input shaft that goes right here and then your motor like that and then it's held on by two screws two torque screws which I have to find. I don't know where they are. And that's it. That's it, guys. All right, so I didn't have the original screws, so I found two Phillips head screws, but I think the original ones are T25 Torx screws that you guys should have. And I plug the cable just like that, and now we are ready to install the seat onto the car. All right, now I'm going to put the seat back on and the cable back on underneath the car. Don't forget to put the cable back on. Okay. There's the cable. And let's see if everything works or not. Seats going up, down, yep, everything works, perfect. Now we're going to mount the seat where the screws are. Perfect, perfect. 
All right, now we are going to put the rear screws back on, and these are 16 millimeter bolts. One here, one there. I'm not going to tighten them just yet. And then going to the front. Perfect, perfect. Everything works now. That's it. That is all. I got to put the cover back on. I think I'll put the cover back on here. All right, everything works. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and subscribe for upcoming videos. I'll see you guys next time.